So since every day people are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers, so let's talk about them today. What can they do today? What can they do this off season to make themselves a title contender again in the near future to eventually chase more championships? Okay, people are gonna call me crazy. Trade all three of these dudes. You could get major draft picks for LeBron James. You could get like three, maybe four first rounders in a couple seconds. Russell Westbrook, I know the Hornets really, really want Russell Westbrook, I don't know why, but you could probably get a s two, maybe three seconds and a couple role players. And and not only that, you probably could get more young, super talent from the players. From all, Anthony Davis, I think you should trade him as well. You, He's still very young. People are going to count on him. He's going to be like that Dwight Howard that never was. He's very successful. you got to get the retirement people out out of LA. As a Clipper fan, you guys know that I feel bad for these Lakers fans. And everyone's, when I say trade LeBron, everyone's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, it's the truth. You could get so much for him. Imagine, you traded Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, uh, who else? Kyle Kuzma, um, Zubach, who's doing for, great for the Lakers, Larry Nance, um, Josh Hart, who's doing great for New Orleans and uh, now in Portland. Like, you traded a hell a lot of people for these three guys. You got a championship. You got a bubble championship. I hate when people say it. Guess what? You, hey, I want people to know this. You think you beat the Bucks in the finals with fans? Hell no, you ain't beating the Bucks with the finals. But yeah, you, if you want to rebuild the season, trade all three of these dudes. Trade them all. Get young talent, get draft picks, start the rebuild again. You should have kept Lonzo, should have kept Brandon Ingram because them two are going crazy right now. And you should have kept, most importantly, Julius Randle. Julius Randle's a beast and he's not in the Knicks and that sucks. So, yeah. Lakers should trade all three of these guys. Get that dynasty back. But as a Clipper fan, that's not going to happen because the Lakers have a bunch of... Uh, just a bunch of uh, cats. They won't do anything. So, yeah. Bye-bye. That's a get.